Whether it's frame rate drops or stuttering during large scale battles, we've got some direct solutions to help you optimize your gameplay. Let's jump straight into it. Solution one, enable FSR slash DLSS upscaling. First, launch Throne and Liberty, then head to the game's settings menu. Navigate to the graphics tab and look for the FSR slash DLSS upscaling option. Make sure that this option is enabled. Now, choose either the performance or ultra performance preset. Keep in mind that ultra performance may affect visuals, but it can give your frame rates a good boost. Solution two, set your in-game resolution to native. Next, go to the settings menu and under graphics, find the resolution option. Set it to match your display's native resolution and aspect ratio. This will ensure that the HUD remains sharp and clear. You can still adjust the internal resolution using FSR slash DLSS for better performance. Solution three, disable hair strands. In the settings menu, go to the graphics section and find hair strands. Now toggle this setting to off. Disabling it improves performance, especially on mid-range systems without much loss in visual quality. Solution four, optimize large scale combat. To smooth out frame rates during large battles, go back to settings and locate the combat optimization option. Enable the large scale combat setting to reduce performance dips when the action heats up. Solution five, reduce overall visual fidelity. If you're still facing performance issues, try lowering your visual quality. Head to the graphics tab in the settings menu and set the quality to medium or low. This can provide a significant performance boost, especially on lower end systems. Solution six, adjust character count. To reduce the load on your CPU, lower the number of characters rendered at a given time. Go to the settings menu, find the character count option and adjust it to a lower setting. This will help improve performance in crowded areas. Solution seven, update your GPU drivers. Now, press the Windows key and type Device Manager, then press Enter. Expand the Display Adapters section, right-click on your GPU, and select Update Driver. Follow the prompts to install the latest drivers. Updating your GPU drivers ensures optimal performance and compatibility. Solution 8. Install the game on an NVMe SSD. Lastly, if you can, move Throne and Liberty to a fast NVMe SSD. Installing and running the game from an NVMe SSD will help reduce loading times and improve overall performance.